Welcome back to our channel, guys. Today, we're joined at Golf Club with Cash in Warrington, where we're joined by store assistant manager Mark. Hi, okay. To talk about on a, a subject of Counterfix Golf Club. Yes, yes. I think it's a big one. This um, for people in second-hand market, obviously. You know, you guys deal with a lot of second hand. Yeah, it's um, it's getting a lot. And what I was surprised to see, we've had a little bit of a nosy behind the scenes, is how much stuff's in quarantine, you know, yeah. counterfeit golf clubs. And, you know, a lot of these golf clubs are being traded in by actual golf pros mm -hmm. and they fell through the net. Obviously, they've got here, yep. but then you guys have obviously spotted them in quarantine and, and yep. they're going to be destroyed. So we've got some real and fake golf clubs here today. Now this bargain, I'm absolutely gutted about. I've just ordered three of these wedges online, the CBX Cleveland wedge, the Tahid, used in decent condition. They cost me over 200 pounds for three wedges. I could have gotten brand new, most of these have got wrappers on, and if not, they're just slightly shop sale. You know, obviously they're all brand new. 59.99 now these wedges are absolutely perfect for somebody with a full caveted set of irons who's wanting sort of specialist wedge with a mill faces for feel and control but isn't quite ready for a full bladed club i'm absolutely gutted i could have got in these brand new for 180 pounds if we'd have come here last week they are an absolute bargain and we're gonna see how much you guys know at home and whether you guys could spot some fakes and once we've done this little bit of a test we're gonna have five clubs i'm gonna score you guys at home see how many how many you think are fake in here and which ones they are and then we're going to talk through or matt's going to talk through some of the key things to look for when you're buying second hand clubs to make sure that you don't get stung so we're going to first look at this tight list ts2 11.5 degree driver it's got a curacade shaft in there what do you think to that one then, guys? I'll stick some close-ups of that one in. Do you think that is a fake or real? Get in the comments. And I'll give you a like if you get that one right. Do you want to show them the next one, Matt? The G10. So it's a G10 fairway wood. What shaft's it got in it? It's got a pink TFG. TFC shaft. Does anyone have one of these clubs? An interesting one. What do you think to the G10? Is that fake or real? Drop us a comment on that one. We're going to go over to the Odyssey 2 ball. My first putt of this. Yeah, that's a popular putt. A lot of people have had these in the bag. The DFX style putt. It's got the super stroke grip on it. Well done. So what do you think to the Odyssey 2 ball? Is that fake or is it real? I'm going to be very surprised if you guys get all of these right. The next one is a Scotty Cameron putter. It's a Scotty Cameron Select Newport 2.5. It's an older model, this one, so looks like it's got a bit of bag wear on there, a bit of bag clatter. But, uh, that has got its way here. What do you think to that one? The Super Stroke grip on it. Is that a fake or a real putter? And the final one, we could shot you and tell you they're all fake. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not gonna. Now, being from Yorkshire, I never leave this place without getting free clubs for £30 from the clearance section. And you're gonna be able to, you know, if you're building a bag, if you're just getting into golf or you might be returning to golf and you're on a budget, you know, I've had a lot so many people get into golf coaching this year that's got £150, £200 to spend on a set of equipment and they just can't find anything on Facebook. Get yourself in here. You could easily build a bag for under £200. You know, get yourself three wood, five wood driver and it gets you back on that golf course so it gets you on that driving range and it gives you that first set of golf clubs and you know, once you start to look to upgrade, you can then just stick them on Facebook and get your money back. It's an R11. Fairway wood. Do you think that one is real or fake? Now, I'm going to give you one clue. There's three of these clubs are fake. Yep. Three of them clubs are fake. Which ones are they? Which one are the three fakes and what are the two real clubs? <laughs> guys, now I'm going to pass you over to Matt. I'm going to talk about when you guys are quarantining these clubs or when they get into quarantine because you suspect they might not be real, what is it that sort of, you know, 
So we have a, a bit of a, like a three-step process, really. So someone comes to the trading counter and they say, right, I want a value from these. If something feels right or if something feels a bit off or the colour's off or the shaft feels a bit weird, then we sort of vet it. We have a look at some pictures that we've got yeah. on our website. Then we get a second opinion. Yeah. And then if our second opinion is they're unsure, then we have a third one and that's the, then the final one. And then we don't say like, it's fake or anything like that. Cause yeah. you know, they, like you said before, the pros might not know, people might not know, we don't want to hurt the feelings. Yeah. So we just say, we unfortunately don't take it because of stock. Right. Um, so. What about when these come in from a golf pro then? So your golf pro, Uddersfield Golf Club, it's fell through net there and it's yep. arrived here. You know, what, how would you spot the fake? It's, well, fakes now are getting good. Yeah. Um, especially with all the, like, well, Scottish especially. Um, so it's one of them where it is very hard to spot fakes and you have to be in the business a long time. I saw like you guys know as yeah. well. It's just one of them, it's subtle differences, like it's the weight, it's the colour, um, it's uh, the font of like shafts, it's the font of on the back of the clubs, it's how it feels. I think you mentioned a great point earlier off camera is that compare it against pictures yeah. online of real products. If you mm -hmm. Google a G10 fairway wood and you get a picture and you put it side by side against this club or against another club, is the font right, is the colour right, yeah. the colour of the shaft, is the grip right, you know, all these little things and head cover quality, I think, you know, they all start to build a picture, but far too many people don't do yes. that. No. You know, it's quite easy to go on eBay, follow an auction, you don't do your due diligence and you end up with a fake club and it might be that you're playing it and you don't know. Mm. Yeah. You know, I bet you've had many people in here come to trade clubs in that they've had in the bag years and yeah. not realise they're actually using a fake club. Yeah. And they'll, nine times out of ten, they might perform fine, yeah. but it's just, obviously not going to get the full amount that some of our customers are actually after. And I think... conforming for a competition? Well, that's a great point, conforming. I, I possibly. Possibly, but I mean, I certainly wouldn't want to be spending money on what I thought no. is a real club and get an inferior club. No, well, yeah, exactly. So I think the reason I wanted to do this video was to, you know, I was very surprised how many fake clubs were in your quarantine, which made me think, well, you know, if you guys are stopping them getting out on the market, I bet there's a lot of people at home that are obviously buying these online yeah. on, on, on eBay and marketplaces like that. You know, because generally speaking, I reckon these guys who may know they've got a fake aren't gonna bring them in to you. No. So well, there's a lot open. more out on that market than we probably, yeah. you know, bargain for. Exactly. So it's just one be them, careful on that one. It's just one of them where you're gonna, if you don't know what to look for, then we're trying to educate you guys just to say about what to look for. Yeah. And then you know what, to look out for and what to know is fake and what isn't fake. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Thanks a lot, Matt. I appreciate Cheers, you guys. for doing that video with us today. We'll see you in a few days' time. Bye.